So the first thing we do is get the smoke going. And now, my all time favorite, or a lot of people's all time favorite anyway, is some dry or even damp pine needles. So I stick them in there. I don't want to stuff them too much just yet. I want to get them going good. Make sure my flame's going well. Hello. That's working good. Yeah, these are just a little bit damp. I picked them up in my other bee yard, or near my other bee yard, where there's lots of pine trees. Ooh, I think it's going good. Yeah, that fire's going to go as long as I need it. And I brought one of the boxes here to put on top of the other one, so I have essentially a deep super. I've got two, two different sizes, but I want something to be able to put my frames into while I'm doing my inspection. So I need to puff it up a little bit, make sure the smoke is working good, and uh, maybe we'll puff a little bit down the side, kind of run them down in the bottom, give them a few seconds to think about it. Uh, in the meantime, I might pull a weed, which are a constant problem in the bee yard. Uh, the stump garden bee yard. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Oh yeah, nice bunch of bees. So, we got our inner cover off. We'll try the outside frame first because that's where my queen is least likely to be. Wouldn't want to roll my queen. So we do want to look for him though. Who knows? I don't see her. Alright, basically, we got some bees in there. We'll stick them in the side. And we'll try another one. I could probably go gloveless at this point. Once again, not much going on here. I see a little bit of comb I'm not too happy with. So we'll shake them in here. And take that off. And they can still work on this whenever they want. So that's got a little bit of work done on it. I'll put that in my top again for later. And again, on the other side, we don't have as much in it either. So, pull some of that out. The first frames kind of stuck in there. It's been a little while, it's been three or four weeks since I inspected this hive. And I don't see a queen on this side. And there's nothing going on here. So we'll put that over there. Boy, these are stuck in there. Not that bad, I mean, as it goes. So once again, we're in good shape there. No queen. I should have looked a little better, but I didn't. Let me just... Yeah, I don't think there's a queen on that. Very unlikely. So, hmm, we're looking to see what's going on here. So, I'd kind of like to run most of these down the bottom. Okay, don't want to smoke them too much. So, basically, we've got uh, five frames here. That aren't drawn out much, so we're going to need some sugar syrup on this thing, and maybe a pollen patty. Oh boy, there's a lot of bees in there now. I 
And this is looking a little better. Wow, it's heavy. That's honey. And I want to make sure this goes back in my upper deep. So, one for the upper deep. I don't see any queen there either. If I don't find a queen, it's all right as long as I find a brood. Come on, girls. Go on down. Meet your friends. That's a little light, but it does have a lot of a lot of honey in it. Not a little pollen there. All right, let's see. Where's the queen? I forgot to look for the queen. I don't see anything here, and nothing there. A bunch of happy bees. We'll put them in there. Oh, here we go. Now this is one the queen could be on. Ah. Look at that brood pattern. That's solid brood. I like that. Okay. On this one, we're going to put the brood in the bottom box, so I'm going to change this bottom, this box to the bottom box. Another frame of great brood pattern. She's doing really good. But I don't see her here. She's doing a job of hiding out for them. See if some larvae in there too. Alright. My eyesight's not good enough to see eggs, but I manage. No queen there either. I may not find the queen. That's okay. Again, there's not much going on in this one, so I'm going to put this one in the uh, top chamber. Oh, the top. So far, we have two brood to go in the bottom. So we just put them together. Ah, slowly, you're not squeezing bees. This box right here on top of the hive. Now we're down to the nitty gritty, the bottom hive, and they look pretty packed. So again, the outside frame is most unlikely to be there. Well, I'm going to try to pull that one out. Excuse me, girls. As Cayman Reynolds says, excuse me. 
Well, they're not liking this. All right, again, this is the empty frame. Got a little bit of drawing, uh, drawing comb on it, but that's it. And I don't see a queen here. Sure would be nice to find her if I get a chance. So we'll stick that in here. I'm going to take out one of these. Not so much queens in here, maybe a couple. More bees in there. Well, excuse me. Don't want to hurt you girls. Please move. Ah, uh, that's another light one. Where are you, Miss Your Majesty? Where are you, Your Majesty? <laughs> Can't say that right. Where are you? There you go. Some more pollen they've been bringing in. I don't see her here either. Let me stick this down here. The box got pretty full. All right. A little bit of brood on this one. This would be a good one to find the queen on, because there's a lot of, a lot of uh, larvae in there. Oh, there's a beautiful pattern. Whoa, very nice. This is another frame that very likely a queen would be on. Because there's larvae and eggs. She'd be on either side of it though. But she's hiding out from me. I can't remember whether this is a marked queen or not. But I bet it's in my notes. There's a drop off there. So. A few in there. Now this is going to go back in the middle. All right, guys. Okay. Uh, I want to slide this one over a little bit for now because I want to be able to put this one that we possibly is on back in before she flies away if she's on it.
Still no queens. There's a pile of bees here. Let's see what they're after. Oh, some emerging brood. Okay, I don't see anything in that either. So. This one here I'll put in a little bit later. Here up to the side. That's drawing comb. Nothing in that side. Nothing in that side. So I'm going to leave this one down the bottom too. So that they have, she has plenty of room to lay eggs down there. Don't get too excited. There's a good frame of honey to go there. So, I'm going to put that right against the brood. We want honey next to the brood. So, there's a frame of that. This is called bearding. The reason they're doing it today is because I was just into this hive. And they're not too happy about it. But they're fairly calm bees.